If I get a service call about a leaking sight glass, I want to have a tubing cutter. We can order sight glass for a particular column. We can do our best to measure the proper length when we order it. But the best way to figure out what length of sight glass we need is to remove the existing one. And if we've got a generic length of glass, we're going to have to cut it. Let's isolate and drain the sight glass so that we can get the glass out and take a measurement. When we're going to disassemble a sight glass for replacement, it's best to do it with the equipment cold, but there's always a best order of valve operations. First, opening the drain eliminates pressure or the ability for pressure to come back in. Then I want to close the liquid side, and then I want to close the steam side. And the benefit of that order is that if I have a leak on the steam side and I close it first, it will actually draw water up and begin to spray out. So this order ensures that we don't have that happen. Once we remove the guard rods, we're gonna use an adjustable end wrench to loosen these. Channel locks will work, but you're gonna tear up that brass and nobody wants to see that. We may have to twist and we're going to then move and slide this glass carefully out, making sure not to drop stuff. We want to make sure to remove the rubber gaskets and rings because we don't want to reuse those. We'll go back in with new ones. We want to make sure to go back with new rubber gaskets and rings. Um, the gaskets do the sealing, the rings relieve friction between the tightening collar and the rubber so that the gaskets don't twist as they go back in. The correct length for the sight glass on this is about nine and a half inches. And as we can see, that's just short enough that when we place it in, we can pivot over and go down into the fitting um, without it binding. So we really want our sight glass to be basically as long as possible, but able to fit in there.